Ahoy! I'm David Ben Leviathan, Deputy Engineer with the WMATA, WMATA, and you're watching End of the Metro, the only internet web show dedicated to looking at the metro stations at the end of each line. After last week's episode, we got a lot of great emails from you, and I thought I might just share a couple uh, at random. Uh, dear David, hello. Um, get a haircut. Love, Mom. Uh, sorry, let's, um, let's read another. Dear David, what are you, some sort of hippie freak, granola lover? Uh, get a haircut, weirdo. Love, Grandma. I'm standing outside Branch Avenue Metro, uh, the east end of the Green Line. Let's go take a look. Branch Avenue has one of Metro's maintenance yards, as you can see behind me, where old trains come to die and ones in need of service get service, and those that are out of service just wait. They sit and and they wait, and, and they wait. Something that we probably can now agree on is actually not a great idea for a video. Why didn't we do a podcast? Branch Avenue was included in the original 1969 Metro plan, but it was not built until 2001. Of course, that was just a mere three and a half months after George Bush got elected. Coincidence? Here's a tidbit. The African-American population of Prince George's County is 62%. So maybe old George did have your back. If you're Kanye West, you can send your apologies to my bad at endofthemetro.com or just tweet at endofthemetro. Thanks. If I only had two words to describe Branch Avenue, now leasing. Metro Place, now leasing. Chelsea West, now leasing. The Courts, now leasing. Tribeca, move in now. Me, now leasing. <laughs> Seriously, I do children's birthday parties. Uh, I go under the name David Ben the Clown. I'm in the yellow pages, so. Branch Avenue was under attack. Its very status as end of the metro is being challenged by those who want to extend the green line to Andrews Air Force Base just down the road. WMATA is against this. Not only is it a violation of posse comitatus, but it is the very same type of stifling military behavior that led to our first American Revolution. Have we forgotten these words? We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. You know who wrote that? It wasn't Ben Franklin. It was Thomas Jefferson. Franklin couldn't tell iambic pentameter from an eclair. And that's a true story. Step back, doors closing. 